I'll take a question from this end. Thank you very much. My name is Dick Osala. I'm going to ask you a question that relates to development, specifically our roads here in Kisumu. There are several roads that have stalled and we do not know why. I wish you were transacting this area uh, using roads so that you are able to see the condition of the roads. I know tomorrow you will be in Siaya. Kindly use the Luanda Siaya Highway so that you see what you are talking about. What plan do you have for the roads in Siaya? And finally, Mr. President, uh, two weeks ago you unveiled your cabinet. I did not see any minister who is below 30 years of age or whose worth is maybe 10,000. All people that were there were 400 million and above. Yona, if you don't have someone who is worth 10,000, I am here, Yona. I'm very intelligent. I can't take that one. Thank you very much, Dick. Yes. Hello, thank you very much, Mr. President. My name is Catherine Achengouma. I am a trader at the CBD and at the same time a politician. I want to ask you a political question. Today we are here as different parties and we have welcomed you very well and you've seen it in most areas of this region. And today we can coexist peacefully, UDA and even Azimio. My question is, will you collaborate with Baba in 2027? <laughs> My second question. Uh, yeah. My second question, as the traders at the CBD concerning the shipyard area, His Excellency, when the shipyard was being made, thousands of businesses were destroyed. Today, at this moment in time, if you walk around Akambalen, it is a dead town. And it, it, it is posing a security threat. Our question, can your government do a walling in that area and restore the 24-hour economy that was happening in that area. Thank you very much. Bwana Dick Pale ameniuliza mambo ya barabara. It's a very important subject, Bwana Dick. And I agree with you, we have many stalled roads. I want to tell you that... Uh, we weren't very measured in the way we gave out contracts because we now have roads that are in the region of 900 billion that we have issued. We have 150 billion shillings that are already outstanding. Work done and not paid. So that is something that is eating my head. And I have tried to work out a mechanism. We have in the budget 56 billion shillings this year. I managed to get about 40 billion shillings from China. I am working with other development partners on how we are going to turn around this road thing. I was uh, yesterday and today, I was um, in, in this region to unlock some of the roads that were stalled. And I want to give you my commitment that all those roads that were stalled, we are not going to start any new roads until we complete the ones that we have already, that are already stalled. Many people want to push me to say, why don't you start uh, new roads that will have your signature? I'm not interested in having my own signature. I'm interested in put, building the roads that are already there because they are Kenyan roads irrespective of who started them. 
That will be my, my, my trajectory. Catherine Ocheng has said, uh, I've talked about 2027. She said she's a politician, and that's very good. I am also one. And she said she's asking me what is going to happen in 2027. I want to tell Catherine, I am more concerned about what is happening or what will happen to our next generation. 2027 will sort itself out. The mistake sometimes we make as politicians is always to focus at the next general election. Of course, the next general election is important. But I want to tell you that if we are consumed merely focusing about the next general election, we will never make the right decisions. We must be bold enough to make the right decisions because sometimes the right decisions are not very popular. And you know, when the right decisions are not popular, you are forced to make the wrong decisions merely because you are concerned about the next election. And that is how we have never made the decisions to change our country. By the way, I intend to make the difficult decision to change Kenya. That is my focus. Even the forming of the broad-based government, many people did not expect me to do that. But I did it because I know for us to be able to implement the most critical decisions that will change Kenya, we need a broader political formation. It is important that we sacrifice some space for us to have a, bigger, a, a broader foundation for us to be able to do the heavy lifting that will make Kenya progress. I am very clear that 2027 is going to sort itself out. Just watch this space. <laughs> On the shipyard, I, have, um, I don't have a direct answer on what to do with the shipyard. I have taken the information you have told me. I will have a conversation with the county government so that we know exactly what to do around the shipyard. Um, I do not have the uh, real information now as to what actually became of the 24-hour economy around the shipyard. I know for, uh, for a fact that the shipyard is an important uh, component of the development of Kisumu as a town, but that should not compromise on the incomes of Kenyans who are benefiting from the space around there. So that is homework for me, uh, Catherine. I hope you don't mind. I can go and do some homework. Yeah? Sawa, sawa.